You may have seen many wired and wireless water level indicators that can provide range up to 100 to 200 meters. But in this video you are going to see a long range wireless water level indicator that can provide a theoretical range up to 1 km. And this prototype has a low level and full level alarm. And definitely it works for a real water tank. As it's a wireless project you need to have transmitter and receiver and here are the components required for transmitter. RJ45 Ethernet cable, RJ45 female connector, resistors, transistors, capacitor, female header strips, Arduino Nano and long range RF module and a custom made PCB. For the receiver you need resistor, transistor, capacitor, buzzer, female header strips, long range RF module, Arduino Nano, 2.2 inch LCD display and a custom made PCB. Autodesk Eagle is used to design circuit and layout for transmitter and receiver. I was having trouble searching Eagle library for this LCD display, so I created a custom library for it. Find a video link in the description that shows how to create a custom library in Autodesk Eagle. After completing design, it's time to export Gerber file. PCB manufacturer needs this file to produce PCB. To export Gerber file, click on File, Cam Processor, Load Job File. Load cam job, gub274x.cam and then process job. Now we need to repeat the process for Exelon.cam. Combining both process GURB 274x.cam and Exelon.cam files will give you a Gerber file. Uh, now repeat the whole thing for receiver unit. After exporting Gerber file for TX and RX, I visited jlcpcb.com. JLCPCB is offering first order for just $2 and for shipping free.
for second order you need to pay five dollars So here is the PCB from JLC PCB. I always prefer using female strips instead of directly soldering main components so they can be reused when needed. So before soldering I prepare some strips. Now let's do the soldering. I tried to keep it as clean as possible. Here I am done with the receiver soldering. Always refer PCB layout for inserting components. And here is the solder transmitter board. Now it's time to upload the Arduino code to transmitter and receiver. After uploading code, I prepared testing probe by cutting one end of the Ethernet cable. As this cable consists of total 8 wires, one wire will be used as VCC pin and rest as the water level pins, so total 7 levels.
after this demo i tested the circuitry with real water tank uh, which worked fine You can get the complete project detail in the description section below. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.